Greetings and welcome to Mandela Effect, the geography of the world, the maps have changed. Hopefully you're here because you're already familiar with the Mandela Effect, named after the leader who most people remember died in prison, but lo and behold, in this reality, this timeline, he didn't. Things like the Berenstain Bears is, as most people remember, the Berenstain Bears. No, not here. The Empire Strikes Back, the famous line, Luke, I am your father. Here it's, no, I'm your father. Wow, have things have changed. Things like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That good old Mr. Rogers tune is now, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Things like, Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. However, now it's, if you build it, he will come. The good old four Scrump movie, it used to be, life is like a box of chocolates. Oh, actually, excuse me. Mama always told me, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But now it's, life was like a box of chocolates. Yes. The key phrase is was. We are no longer in the reality that we were born into if you are on my timeline. If not, click end and stop watching this video because you're in the wrong place and this will make any sense. We are now in a different reality, a different time, and we're going to be covering that. But today's lesson is, as you can see, the geography of the world. The one last saying, the newest Mandela effect these days is, it used to be Evil Knievel, the great stuntman and the entertainer, you know, went over the the Grand Canyon in that rocket ship and went over the sea, jumped Caesar's Palace and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, in this reality, I hate to let you know, it's Eval Knieval, you know, Eval Knieval, that's his name now. Things like Sex and the City, in this reality, we remember it as Sex in the City. The list goes on and on and on. So hopefully you're in the right place and we're on the same page. If not, just Google um, the rest of the Mandela Effect. I'm here, I'm going to cover some geography. Um, for example, I lost my little tool again. Oh well, hopefully you can see this well. Look at that. South America used to be over here and now it's way over there. And it's, it's so skinny, it used to be a lot bigger. So if we look at it this way, South America should be over here. It's moved quite a bit. In case you can see my little degrees here, it has moved 33 degrees. Um, in my next video, I'm gonna be covering um, the physics to all this. Yes, um, everything in f can be explained with math and physics. 1 plus 1 equals 2. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You know, equals MC squared. Tangent X is less than pi squared over 4. Everything can be explained with physics and math, and I have all the answers for you. And guess what? It's also tied into the Bible. I happen to have a degree, uh, magna cum laude, in religion, and I was a lay minister for over 10 years. I'm also a theoretical physicist. And excuse me for this crude and rudimentary presentation. However, I just discovered the physics in, um, behind all this. But I'm going to get in that in a later video. For now, we're just going to try to keep it simple. And we're just going to be talking about how the geography has changed. So let's move on to the next presentation here. Oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> the country of Australia. Oh my gosh. Is this ever messed up? Um, Australia is a st stone throw from Papua New Guinea. What? New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand is to the south and east and it's two islands. Yeah, people just don't remember it that way. Neither do I. But if we take the country of Australia... And if we do, and I'm going to show you at the end of the video, a 33 degree change and move it down here. And then this is where Australia belongs um, in the middle of the ocean where it's supposed to be away from these islands. And also, as you can see, New Zealand is up and to the right. And that's where it does belong. 
moving right along trying to be quick here because youtube uh, i don't have a commercial license so i got 15 minutes all right let's look at alaska come on give me a break here um we all remember the story about how the the indians came across you know it used to be more of a land mass and they walked across they came out into america well lo and behold look at that here's russia here's here's alaska come on you could like swim across that thing also it's giving you the big bird <laughs> there's a subliminal message here yeah alaska used to be much more smoother here i don't remember these little inlets and everything moving right along oh the big one everybody's tripping out on the country of china well most people don't remember the country of mongolia even existing lo and behold they don't remember it being that big neither do i I mean, the country of Mongolia used to be, I remember being a much smaller country, it used to be a much more rounded shape. But, um, so, when I put it up here, and we have Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Russia, you know, there's, oh, look, oh, look, look, there, there's Mongolia. That's where Mongolia is supposed to be, right there. Mongolia is supposed to be there. That's where it belongs. And there's Nepal, and then there's Thailand, etc. And then here's the dotted line where Mongolia is. China used to be this gigantic country. Huge. Huge country. But no. Um, now China is the about the same size as the United States. If you take out Alaska, um, China is the same size as the U.S. now. But no, this is the way China used to be. China is, or excuse me, my timeline, my reality, my earth, China is this gigantic country. But, nope, not here. It's just, you know, it's smaller. Alrighty here. Moving right along. Another really bizarre one is North and South Korea. Um, <laughs> what the heck? Um, North and South Korea? Does anybody remember the Vietnam War? Laos, Cambodia, Thailand? You guys remember these countries? What's North and South Korea doing way over here? And who remembers North Korea bordering Russia? Uh, I certainly don't. Most people don't. So there is North and South Korea today. However, it belongs... <coughs> it belongs down... Vietnam. Ah, sorry. I'm going to have to block the video here, I think. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Dum, dum, dum. So, this is where North, this is South Korea, this is North Korea, here's Vietnam. So, there's Vietnam, South Korea, North Korea. We all remember these wars Vietnam War, the, the Korean War, and North and South Korea are down here. Um, that's where I remember being. And then if you, you know, look to the flip the paper, it fits like a jigsaw puzzle here. I don't remember South and North Korea being up here. And look at that. South Korea is a... Come on! South Korea's in the middle of the Yellow Sea and the Sea of Japan. And South Korea is surrounded by, surrounded by water now? Oh, wow. That's really bizarre. So, <clears throat> moving right along, we have... Oops, I moved this. Um, dang it. Hope I didn't screw up my map. Here we have Italy. Um, okay. So, we have Italy here, and this is Sicily. Sicily just about touches Italy now. And look at this huge inlet here. So now Italy looks like it has a high heel boot. Uh, the way I remember is Italy, it's known as the boot country, yes, but it barely had a boot. Um... So when we put Italy here, lower, I remember it being a lower heel boot, and I remember Sicily being over here. So if we move Italy 33 degrees, and I'm going to get into this later, the 33 degrees is not a Freemason thing. It's not an Illuminati thing. Yes, they have the secret knowledge of it, but it actually has to do with physics, believe it or not. It has to do with string theory and supersymmetry. And um, you, you guys are just going to be blown away by my next video when I explain the physics. I'm going to explain all the physics, and I'm going to go relate it to the Bible and explain and make it all clear to you. All right, so we move it 33 degrees. Here we have our um, 
this is our zero point. But anyway, right here, as you can see, it's 33 degrees. So we just go to make this straight up and down. And now Italy's in the proper position. Italy is supposed to be at this angle and Sicily's over here. It's not supposed to be all jacked up like that. Also, um, my family's from Norway. My grandpa came from Norway. Majority of my family are in Norway. Norway is not, it's not tilted down like that. Norway is up. Um, forgive me for not preparing this ahead of time, but again, if you know, if you take your zero point and you move to Norway, Norway belongs up here. So you simply twist Norway, you know, 33 degrees and it's back where it belongs. Also, um, the country, Norway, um, the, the, I, um, I'm, I'm a geography buff. I spent my whole life looking at it. My, we have a world atlas when I was a kid, et cetera, et cetera. And plus, you know, I know Norway. Um, the most northern city in the entire world used to be up here. It's part of the Arctic Circle. But no, not anymore. Look at that. Um, <laughs> look at that. Norway's got a whole chunk of real estate. Yeah, that's part of Norway now. And now the north, north most northern... <laughs> Excuse me, it's late here. The most northern city in the world is now in this part of Norway, which never existed before. Oh my gosh, man, how things have changed. So anyway, let me show you on the map. Let's see if I can get this 30, 30 degree angle more clear to you. Um, here is what people call the, this is the UN map of the world. If you're familiar with the flat earth and all that stuff, um, this is also the flat earth model. Now, if you take right here, and this is a 30 degree angle, you move it 33 degrees, and then we're going to take um, Australia and move it 33 degrees, and over here is where South America was, moving it 33 degrees, like I mentioned, this is where South America belongs, look at that, now it's South South America. It's not called Southeast America, or should I be more correct? It's not called East and South of America. No, it's South America. Well, now, now it's South America. Um, if you're familiar with geography, this is Texas, and that's where it belongs. Also, Australia, now when you move it 33 degrees, it's out in the middle of the ocean where it's supposed to be. Also, um, when we shifted Australia, we also moved New Zealand, but New Zealand is north. So we moved New Zealand from where? Oh yeah, New Zealand is right here. So we just moved it down a grid, and then over the proper 33 degrees. So now um, New Zealand, we move it over here and up one. So New Zealand is 33 degrees and then down one. So basically, what we have here is this part of the world moved up no oh, excuse me <laughs> i forgot to say um in my timeline my reality it belongs here it moved down 33 degrees in my reality my timeline australia moved down so it moved down and this moved down so this moved down and then this moved down <sighs> Oh my gosh, I forgot to cover Italy. Did I cover Italy? Oh yeah, I covered Italy. Italy um, <clears throat> has moved over, you know, where's Italy is about here. So Italy moved as well. They moved down. So, so basically, um, from my reality, this is where South America should be, moved down 33 degrees. Here we have Italy, moved 33 degrees. We have Norway, moved 33 degrees. We have Australia, moved 33 degrees. The entire world has taken a 33 degree shift. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, I apologize for the rud rudimentary uh, video. I just discovered this because um, I wrote a paper. It is called Physics of the Bible. Um, oh boy, this is all blurry. Basically, um, boy, this is way over everybody says. Basically, I'm going to make my paper available to you. It's called um, Physics of the Bible. 
um, the throne of God. Um, basically, we take um, scripture and compare it to, to, today, to today's modern day physics. So I quote scripture and they say, here's the physics. Scripture, physics, scripture, physics. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the map of the world. I'm going to explain why um, everything is moved 33 degrees. So I'm going to explain the world and then why it's shifted 33 degrees. I'm going to tie it in the Bible and the physics. It's all related. Um, I hate to say this. Um, ooh, Alistair Crowley um, is, if you know who he is, he's uh, the Order of the New Dawn, I think, um, if I said that correctly. And he's a Freemason. It's, you know, he's known as the most evil man in the world. Um, but right here, if you look right here, this is his symbol. Um, symbolism is extremely important to, you know, Freemasons, secret society, Illuminati. But, geez, get over it, folks. It's not magic. It is physics. It's physics. It's math. It's science. They just made it all voodoo and magic so the common man would be scared and terrified and not go near this stuff. <clears throat> when I blow this picture out, you will see the entire universe. I unify the four forces. If you're familiar with string theory, supersymmetry, M3, it's all explained. So anyway, um, this, this angle is 33 degrees, and I can go on and on. But um, this is a 33 and a 30 degree um, symbol, um, which is tied into the uh, four forces of the universe. Um, basically, let's see, how much time we got? 